Hello, 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 beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do a daily reading for Thursday, November the 7th. I know it is Wednesday night. So today is November the 6th, but this will be the message for Thursday, November the 7th. I was guided to do this reading, guys. I don't know what it is, but I've had this deck for a while, the Triple Goddess Tarot. And I've never used it. And for some reason, it caught my attention. And I was looking at the cards. And I was looking at some pictures. Well, not, I was taking pictures of the cards. And I was looking at the deck. And then I went downstairs, took a shower. And then Spirit was like, Ash, there's a message in those cards. So I am here to deliver a message to you all with this deck. Okay, there's something that you guys are needing to know. There's a message. You guys know I never put a daily out this late ever. So that's why it's going to be for tomorrow. All right, guys. So, of course, let it be great. Let's see what's coming in for you guys for Thursday, November the 7th. You guys already know how much I freaking love you all. You guys are freaking amazing. Couldn't ask for better subscribers. So let's definitely hop in. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you guys are notified. Also, if you guys would love to book with me, fireintuition.com. All my info is in the description box below. All right, so let's hop straight into it. It must be a message since I was guided to come back into the office. So let's see what we have, guys. Let it be great. All right, I want to start out with a couple of spirit messages. Spirit, what messages do you have for us as, the co as a collective? We have events, conflict. Guys, what's going on? Are you guys in conflict with someone? Maybe this is a message message so that you guys can avoid this. There's some type of conflict. Okay, this can be conflict within the self with someone else. But it's events. It's number four. It, it's, it's like four is all about stability. And maybe you, want, maybe you want stability. Maybe you want a stable relationship. Maybe you're wanting something to be more stable. And you're having conflict with it. It's really hard. It seems like it's difficult. Okay, it seems as if it's a challenge. Oh, it is. People, kindred, partnership. This is about love. You guys are, some of you guys are like kind of giving up on love. Some of you guys are wanting that person. And like, it's really bothering you. Like, you're going, like, there's inner conflict. Like, you're, this is conflict with the self. And there could be a kindred partnership out there for you. Maybe there's someone that you just know is meant to be in your life. Maybe you have that deep connection with someone. Maybe you're about to meet this person, but you're needing to really come out of conflict with yourself. Maybe you maybe you have been through conflict within relationships and you're coming out of that. Look how the water looks like. It's turbulent. It's like, look at the water. It's like, it's the mountains are there. Like So someone's been through hell. Someone's been through a lot. And someone is like either giving up on love or someone just wants that person. We have one. Someone wants a new beginning in love. Someone wants love. Someone wants like love out this world. Or someone just loves the fuck out of someone and really wants this relationship or really wants to be with someone. Okay. But I also feel like looking at this situation, um, I said situation, looking at these cards and how it's coming to me. There could be someone in your life that's having conflict. I mean, going through conflict and I feel like maybe they're trying to get to you because like she's jumping in his arms. She's really happy. This is something that you don't see coming. She's like, oh my gosh, like I'm so happy to see you. I love you. There's a rainbow in the background. Give me one more card. I don't know why this is so heavy on love. I'm not going to take all of these, but we have, um, yeah, we have energy. Number six, balance. We have fragmented energy. So there's like your energy has been up and down. Okay. You're trying to figure things out. And I guess I'll just take these cards because they all came out. You guys, I don't ever take this many, but it's like, look, there's puzzle pieces and you're trying to figure things out. And you're like, why do I feel like this? Why am I in my feelings? Why is my energy so shift? Like, why does my energy keep shifting is what I'm getting. And then we have number one cycle. So there's going to be a new beginning. For some of you guys, it's like, don't give up on love. You guys are birthing and creating something beautiful. Something beautiful is coming into your life. And I feel like spirit doesn't want you to give up. 
yeah, you're going through conflict. Yeah, it was it was a it was hard. But release that energy and let that go with that fragmented energy so that this kindred um partnerships can come in. Look, we have another energy card. Planning and action. So something's coming in. And look, I'm loving it because it's coming with the cycle card and there's going to be an increase. So some of you guys, there's an increase in your love life or this increase within a foundation, a situation, whatever this is, something is increasing and changing. And it's also bringing in a new beginning. And it's coming with a new cycle. Like it's a new cycle, new beginning, new energy, new love. You're coming out of conflict. You really just need to figure out your emotions and shift your energy. Your energy is kind of like all over the place. See, and we have number three, spirit, intuition, and manifestation. So you guys have been manifesting this. You're manifesting it now. Like I said, again, there must have been a message tonight because you guys know, I, like I said, I don't record this late. And then these many messages for spirit messages. And then we have number six, again, balance, people, the loving woman. See, so like this is you, the loving woman that is kind of giving up on love, but you don't, but you are, you're in conflict with yourself because you want this person or you want love. You're just like, fuck fire intuition. When am I going to get love? Like, when is love going to come in? Like, that's what you guys are thinking about. Like, some of you guys are just so torn when it comes to love. I get you. I got you guys. But you guys got to shift your energy. You guys have to come out of conflict with yourself. Stop talking down on yourself. Don't be a worse critic. Don't be like, oh, I'm this, I'm that. I hate myself. I did that. I let this person do this. No, throw all that shit out the window. It's done. It's over. It's gone because you are a loving person. And there is a person that's coming in. We have two people cards. Someone is coming in and there's going to be a kindred partnership or someone's coming back. Something's about to change. And the reason I said that is because look, we have intention, hidden motivations. So someone has hidden motives. Are the universe is bringing something in that you've been manifesting, that you've been waiting for. That's why the curtains are pulled back. She's coming out of the curtains. And look, there's a big house. There's children. You know, like, there's a pond. The grass is green. This is beautiful. And all of this is coming in, guys. But you got to believe it. You got to just trust it and know that it's happening, that it's coming. Some of you guys have um, always wanted children or you're waiting to get pregnant or have a family. All that is here with this new beginnings and this hidden motivations card, this loving woman. You have this beautiful kindred partnership coming in. You guys know I'm nosy, so let's see what's stopping you guys from this kindred partnership coming in. And do remember that a kindred partnership could come in the form of a friendship as well. Okay, so maybe you guys are going to have one badass friend coming into your life. That's going to change your life and just, it's going to be beautiful, guys. But you guys have to really trust it, all right? So what's stopping this kindred partnership from coming in, spirit? Self-discipline, four plus one is five, change. You need to discipline the mind. You need to change your mindset. You need to come out of conflict, like I said. You need to shift your energy. Go into this energy card. Why is your energy all over the place? Because you're healing. You're healing. So, of course, your energy is going to be all over. You're releasing. You're letting go. Okay? What is this new beginning about, Spirit? What is this new beginning about? Time out and domestic harmony. So, you had to take a time out. We have two tens. Completion. You had to take a time out so that you guys can heal. Domestic harmony is more than just, like, love situations. This is friendships. Parents, family, whatever, love. You guys really needed to take a time out to go within and really release and heal from all the people, places, and things that have hurt you, that have bothered you, that have affected you, that have stopped you from allowing this kindred partnership to come in. And you guys are coming out of that. That energy. It's shifting. It's changing now. Because you took the time out, you're actually allowing yourself to heal. And you're becoming balanced. We have three sixes. Okay? So I'm going to go into my angel book really quick. You see something. Your thoughts are too focused on material illusions. Raise your thoughts spiritually to get your life back on track. That is what 666 means in the angel book. 
So it says again, your thoughts are too focused on material illusions. Raise your thoughts spiritually to get your life back on track. Intuition, manifestation, hidden motivations. We have an increase that can, that's coming in with the energy card, that spirit trying to help you. But we have a spirit card here with in, intuition and manifestation. What are you manifesting? Like, how are you manifesting this? Our, I feel like spirit is asking, like, are you manifesting something that you know is done? If you Do you really want this kindred partnership? Do you really see that in another person that you already know? Is this the person that has you in this mixed up energy that has you in conflict? That's trying to stop you from healing and moving forward so that you can have this kindred partnership? I feel like that's what some of you guys are needing to ask yourself. Okay? Now, let's go into the Kindred Partnership card and see what this is about. Why is the Kindred Partnership card here, Spirit? Personal growth. And that's what you guys are going through right now. You guys are growing. It's like personal growth. It's like you finally are figuring you out. Like you finally know what you want. There's growth from within. And as you're doing that, things are manifesting and you're bringing in this Kindred Spirit. Sorry about this personal growth card. Parenting. Six plus three, nine. Completion. It was time for you guys to stop parenting your other relationships or parenting to people. And love and nurture yourself. And allow growth from within. Because this person that's coming in, again, they're going to be in your same energy, your same vibration, your alignment. It's a kindred partnership. It's going to be beautiful. So beautiful. And the universe wants to prepare you and have you ready for it. And again, we're back at what? Number eight, the manifestation card. Okay? And it's all manifesting. Why? Because spirituality is here. You guys are evolving spiritually. And not only are you guys evolving spiritually, self-love is here. Ain't shit better than self-love. Okay? They see that you love yourself. You're loving yourself. You're healing You're loving and nurturing yourself. There's personal growth within. You're disciplining the mind. You're coming out of conflict. You're not all in your feelings and your, and your energy is not all fucked up and messed up and all over the place because of someone. You're not allowing it. You're allowing new things to come in, new beginnings. You're manifesting things. Everything in your life is increasing. Like you're about to pull the curtain back on your life and be like, wow, I didn't know all this was behind a curtain. But you needed to take the time out to actually heal from not just that situation, from other situations. And that's what you're doing. So really loving this already. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. So maybe that was the message. I don't know. Let's go ahead and pull some um, some tarot cards. Spirit, what additional messages do you have for us for Thursday? I'm actually going to move this spread out the way. Spirit, what messages do you have for us for today, Thursday, November the 7th? Starting out, we have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Star. Aquarius Energy. We have the Eight of Swords. Love it already. We have the Queen of Swords. Look at the Queen of Swords. You guys are taking off the mask. You're no longer wearing a facade. Your sword is up high. Remember in that um, hidden motive, the hidden motives or hidden motivations card, there was a curtain. And the curtain was blue. That's the throat chakra. But you're taking off the, you're taking off your mask. You're speaking truth. Okay, you're tired of wearing this mask. You're tired of putting on a facade when it comes to something. Three of Cups. Queen of 
Queen of Pentacles. This is, oh yeah, this is the High Priestess. Six of Swords. Love it. You guys go from the eight to the six. Look, King of Pentacles. This is that kindred spirit coming in. King and Queen of Pentacles. This person that you're in alignment with. Why? Because you took off the mask. You're no longer wearing the facade. Three of Cups. The chariot. <laughs> you're going towards victory, baby. I love it. You're celebrating. You're about to be happy about a lot of things. Three of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Love it. Because look at this. Look at this deck. There's two wands on this door. There's one wand in her hand. That's you going towards something new. You're moving on. You're moving forward. Like you're ready. You've made a decision. And you're very clear about it. Three of Wands. Two of Pentacles. You made a decision. You no longer weighing up things. But if you were weighing up things, you did what was best for you. You didn't make a decision based on someone else. So if this was moving, changing a job, leaving and walking away, whatever you did, you did it because that's what you felt you needed to do. You didn't say, I'm going to hold on to this relationship because they want me to. Or you didn't say, I'm going to stay in the third party because that's what they want me to, to do. Or you didn't say, I'm... I'm not going to take this job offer because they want me to stay here for them. But this other job is offering me 10000 more a year. Like whatever it is, you're not making a decision based on them or what they are wanting. It's all about you. Okay. Someone um, can have an R in their name or R for their initial. We have an R on the rock. But I feel like the R is saying, like, you're making the right decision with that two of pentacles. Like, you know what's right now. You know what you're wanting to do. You're moving forward. She has her book back on and everything. Like, she's happy. She has her wand. You're ready for something totally new. And you're going towards your six of cups. But the six of cups to me is like happiness. It's innocence. It's, it's like you just feeling happy all over again. Like, it's a very light energy, okay, with this Six of Cups here. It's like, you're like a kid in a candy store. You're like, oh, I'm, I'm just, I'm moving on, like, because you're like, you're moving on with life, and you're like, oh, I'm just open to all these choices, and it's like, you know how kids are in the candy store, like, they don't know if they want m and Skittles, gummy bears, gummy worms, a jawbreaker, you know, like, they don't know if they want Jolly Rancher, you're just like, there's so much more, or you're like, there's so much in life that... I can be doing why am I waiting so you're making the right decision and you're moving forward is what I'm getting from this but I love this spread it's beautiful you're going for the page of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles this is someone that's like really sitting down and reflecting on their life and it's like you got your Pentacles there and you're just like okay I have I have this much to do this I'm gonna move I'm gonna buy this I can do this but it's like you're really taking time to study things like you're really figuring your life out a lot of you guys are fixing your credit a lot of you guys like have plans for the future. Like, are you you're wanting to go into 2020 like prepared and ready? Because I like, even look at the Queen of Pentacles. Like, she has her journal. There's a feather. Like, she has a, a feather pen and she's writing. So this is letting me know like you guys are taking steps. Like I told you guys yesterday, baby steps. But it's like you're taking steps. You're moving forward. There's paperwork everywhere. You're stepping out on the unknown. You're ready. You're taking this leap. There's a bunny there. You're taking this leap. The clouds are clear in the back. The star is here with the high priestess. Wow, not only are you healing, you're on the right path because you're following and trusting your intuition. This is beautiful as fuck, guys. I'm loving this. Eight of swords, like you're finding your way out, like you're getting out of your head. With the eight of swords here. Like you're getting out of your head. Six of swords, look at you. Some of you guys have a son or you have a child or you have children. And you're like, nope, I'm not going to let you even sit in this situation. I'm not going to let you be in this situation. Like, no. Nope. You're like, nope, mama is, but we're moving on. You're like, nope, I'm not going to let you stress. We're not going to be here another day, another hour, another minute. But for others of you, you're finally at peace. There's a peace of mind. You're happy now. And this child is that new beginning. Because I look at the child as like, 
we saw that baby on there so like this is some type of new beginning something new that you're going towards i'm really loving it and i love the queen of swords in this deck because it's like like i said you're taking off the facade you're speaking truth but not only to someone to yourself you're like you know what i'm gonna stop wearing this fucking facade this mask i'm gonna take it off and i'm gonna be honest with myself i'm gonna speak some truth to myself and then to other people or whatever your situation is but you have your sword up high but it's like you're going towards victory, you're going towards success, you're going towards a new beginning. We have this king of pentacles coming in. This can be you. This can be you shifting from the queen to the king of pentacles, bringing in more stability, security, something stable for yourself. And then for others of you, it's like she's, it's winter time. She's out in the cold. She's wrapped up. She's warm. She has her, her um, bonfire and it's like she still has her pentacle and she's like, you know what? I'll be alone. It's fine. But I'm happy, I'm content, I'm doing me. But for others of you, it's all about security, stability, and you being more stable and just figuring things out. And you also realize with that facade or that mask you were holding on to or wearing, you were also um, holding back opportunities and new things trying to come into your life. So you had to take it off. You had to be honest with yourself if you wanted to step into a different energy or evolve um, spiritually or just whatever it was. It's like you knew something had to change. You knew something needed to be different. You knew that you needed to take this mask off. And then we have the Three of Cups with the Chariot. You're going towards victory, success. You're celebrating this new life, this new beginning. Friends are coming in. You guys are meeting people. Um, if you're shifting jobs or changing jobs, I feel like you're you're out of a karmic cycle. Or I just feel like you're going towards something better, something happier. But if not, it's like you're celebrating with friends. You know, the holidays are coming up. Maybe you're going back home with that Six of Cups. Maybe for some of you guys, you need to go home or like go back to your home state. Maybe it's going to shift and change your energy for a lot of you guys. Okay. And it's like, I don't even really want to clarify, but I'm going to clarify some of these cards. Okay. I'm definitely going to go into that. Um, I want to know why the eight of swords is here. Spirit, go into this eight of swords. Because you're finding your way out. And I love that the sun is back there. You're blindfolded. She's blindfolded in this eight of swords. But she's walking through it. All the swords on the ground. And she's like, why am I in my head? I look at this eight of swords. This is you asking yourself, like, why am I overthinking? Why am I in my head when I can be at peace? When I can, you know, be in a better situation or a better state of mind? Like, that's what you're asking yourself. That's what you're telling yourself. I don't even feel like you're asking. You're telling yourself that. Why is this eight of swords here? Going to this eight of swords. Judgment, yep. Judgment, you're calling judgment on a situation. Love it. And I thought you had to be in your head a little bit. But judgment is being called. Judgment is being made. Why is judgment here? I love that judgment is here with the Eight of Swords because you're actually making a decision. Our decision has been made. Like, you're like, no, I'm not going to do this anymore. Knight of Swords reverse. So, yeah, you were scattered. You were in your thoughts. You were thinking of the worst. There's that conflict that you guys are in with that first card we had, but you're calling judgment on it. And judgment is also telling me, even with that queen of swords here, you're like, why am I my head? Why am I in my head? Why am I even scattered? Why am I even thinking so negative? Why am I thinking like this? Why am I thinking the worst? Nothing's changing. Like I'm thinking like this. I'm acting like this or I feel this way and nothing's changing. So that's why you're being honest with yourself with this queen of swords and you're taking off the, um, the mask. You're taking off the facade. So let's see. Um, Go into this Queen of Swords. Why is this Queen of Swords here? You guys know I don't take cards off the ground. The Fool. You're ready for some type of new beginning. You're ready. You're ready to start a new beginning. And that's why you took the um, the mask off, the facade off. Because you were just like, okay, I can't keep doing this. I can't keep lying to myself. I can't, I can't keep being dishonest with myself. Like, you guys knew that. Like, you know, I'm not even going to lit up the cards because I don't even want to know what they are. But it's like, with the Fool, you're ready for a new beginning. You're ready. You're cutting through the bullshit. Okay, you're ready, and that's what's gonna help align you for this kindred um partnership and and you know whatever is in like whatever is coming with that. You're you're ready. You're prepared for it. Okay, so let's see how the fool is here with the Queen of Swords. Yep, see a new emotional beginning. You're coming out of heartbreak too, and this is you also forgiving people, forgiving others, forgiving situations, forgiving yourself with that Three of Swords coming up in reverse. You're releasing resentment. That's why judgment is here because judgment is pretty much telling me like the universe is asking you, do you want to stay in this situation? Do you want to stay in this energy? Do you want to stay where you're at? Or are you ready for something better, something new? Like it's, it's, it's up to you now. Judgment is being called. What are you going to do moving forward? How are you going to handle this situation? Okay. 
So I just feel like with Scorpio season B being here, a lot of stuff that was hidden in the dark, in the basement, whatever, it's coming up. It's being revealed. You're seeing the truth for what it is, and that's what's helping you take off the mask. And you're just like, you know what? Why am I sitting in this in this energy? It's time for it's time for a change. It's time for a transformation. Okay. So let's go into this. Um, I want to go into the Queen of Pentacles really quick, and then I want to go into the Star. Temperance. You're being patient with yourself. Yep. Temperance and the Queen of Pentacles is very beautiful energy. This is you staying grounded, balanced, stable. You're putting a lot of work into something. As a Queen of Pentacles, and it's like you might be doing research. Some of you guys can be business owners. Whatever you're doing, you're doing a lot of research, though. You're really trying to figure things out or you're trying to master something with Temperance and the Queen of Pentacles. But you're being very patient with yourself. You're really taking time to do this. Whatever this is, go into Temperance with the Queen of Pentacles. It's like you're like you guys are really like trying to figure something out, map something out. You guys have some type of idea or plan. The hangman. Okay. So the hangman, Pisces energy. Give me one more card. The will of fortune. Wow. So you guys have a beautiful future ahead of you guys with the will of fortune. Something major is about to turn in your favor. It's a delay because you need to surrender to something with this hangman. And I feel like this is that energy here with the Queen of Swords, Three of Swords. You need to open your heart up to forgiveness. You're needing to release something and let something go. You are healing. You are doing the work. Something beautiful is coming in. Something beautiful is coming in. And that's why I, I feel like you guys don't know it. That's why we had that hidden motives card or that I forgot what it was. I'll look back and see. But yeah, something beautiful is coming in. One to the star. Why is the star here? Look, as you're healing, look, you're going towards your nine of cups. Are you actually seeing that you healing or allowing yourself to heal is making you very happy, very content. This can be, this can also be material happiness with that nine of cups. This can be you just spoiling yourself, taking care of yourself, doing a lot for yourself, and you're just really happy and it's helping you heal. Um, are you just doing things for yourself that you've never done before? And it's just, it's, it's just healing for you. Okay. For others of you, it's like as you're healing, some type of wish fulfillment is coming in. Once to this nine of cups, the nine of wands reverse. Yeah. So I feel like with the nine of wands reverse, like it's like, how I'm seeing this is, is like you're not going to give up on this process, this healing process. It's like you don't want to give up on it or you don't want to give up on this new beginning that's coming in because you see how great it is. For some of you guys, I feel like you guys were stuck for a while and you didn't want to give up on it. You didn't want to change or you didn't want to make some type of change. You wanted to stay in the energy that you were in. You wanted to stay in a situation. You wanted to stay in a job. You wanted to stay in something. And you're just like, wow, life is so much better without this. Or my life has been so much better without this. Our things just have been so much better without this situation. Okay. Um, being around me. So let's see how the um, high priestess is here. Wow. Love it. Spirit. Talk to me. So with the high, um, with the high priestess being here, look. To a wand. See, I told you guys made a decision. You're ready for this new path. You're ready. You're like, okay, you're like, okay, let me get suited and booted. I'm ready for this new beginning with this two of wands here. The high priestess, you're finally trusting your intuition. You're finally believing in yourself. You're finally trusting your intuition. You're finally trusting the path that you're on. And you're and for a lot of you guys, you're accepting the the, the path that you were on the, and recently are in the past. You're accepting all of that. But also, some of you guys have made a decision. Um, and how you're going to move forward with something, with this two of wands, so loving it. And look, something fulfilling is coming in with this ace of cups. You guys are going to be fulfilled emotionally. You're going to be so happy. I don't know why, but I just, I just, I see you guys like crying. I see someone like, like, you know, when you cry, like you cry so bad, like you're holding your mouth and your nose. Like I see someone ugly crying, but it's ugly crying because you're so happy that it seems like an ugly cry. And you guys know what I mean about ugly cry, like, you know, like, we are like, you know, like crying really bad and you're like holding your face and your nose, and your mouth and you're like rocking or because it's going to be so like you're going to be so happy. You're going to be so fulfilled. But that that cry that you have, that ugly cry that's coming out that I consider the beautiful cry because I have one of those like once a month or every now and then to just release. Um, I feel like. You guys are, you're going to have this cry. So you guys are going to have this cry and 
I just hear someone saying, why did I not do this a long time ago? Is what I'm hearing here. The universe is bringing in a lot of changes. You guys are about to be so happy about something. Please comment. Please tell me what it is. You guys are so happy. And then for others of you, you're finally getting the love that you always wanted, hoped, dreamed, and prayed for. Like, I know a lot of you guys are like, I don't believe in fairy tales and stuff like that. But for some of you guys, that's what's happening. Like, you're, like you're about to get the love that, like, you're going to be like, wow, this is what it feels like to really be loved. Like, it's going to blow you away. But there's something that's coming in with this two of wands and this ace of cups with this high priestess. And you're going to be so happy. And like I said, this ugly cry that I consider to be beautiful, it's going to be... It's going to be the cry, like, this cry is going to, like, you've never probably cried like this before. Or, and I'm not going to say never cry like this before. Well, yeah, I'm going to say that because Spirit is telling me to say that. But it's not like when you lost, like, if you lose someone and you're like, oh, my God, like, hysterical and crying. This is going to be such a healthy cry, but yet a beautiful cry, but a cleansing cry. Like, it's going to be healing. It's going to be for the soul. Like, you're going to feel it in your, your fingers, knees, and toes. Like, I don't know why I'm here in head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Like, I feel like, I just feel like you're going to feel it all through the body when this happens, when you have this cry. Some of you guys might literally break down. This cry might be 30 minutes, an hour, two hours. I don't know. But it's like, it's, you're going to be so happy. And that's why we have this three of cups and we have this chariot. You're moving forward. A lot of you guys have so many great things coming in and you guys deserve it. You guys been deserved it, but you guys got to be honest with yourself and, and take off this facade and this mask and tell yourself like, why do I not have it? And what I'm also hearing, and don't be mad at me guys, is that it's like, don't at this point, you've made it too far to point fingers and to blame others or to say what they did, why they didn't. Because at this point, you're almost at the end. You're almost at the finish line. So it doesn't even matter what they did. It doesn't even matter anymore. You're going towards so much better. You're going towards so much better. Everything's about to change for the positive. So it's like, why even, why even care? Okay? So let's see about this Three of Cups is here. Going to this Three of Cups. Look. Wow. I cannot make this shit up. And this is why I was guided to do this reading. Because like I said, I never post this late. Look what we got. What did I just tell you guys? Three of Cups with the Lovers. Guys, I have, I'm shaking. Like, my legs are, like, literally shaking. Like, because it's like, I knew it before I even did the cards. And it's not like I have the cards under there so I know what the next card is. No. You guys see me, see me shuffling like this. It's amazing how this energy is coming out. This is beautiful, guys. But you guys have to just be open to receiving it. So, if... if if all of it, if it just takes for you to forgive someone to have this, why are you not forgiving them? Or why are you not forgiving someone or a situation? And like I told you guys, forgiveness is not just with that person. It's yourself. It can be that person. You might have to forgive someone that hurt your feelings back when you were 10. It can be that, that far back. You know, so really go in, guys, and just, you guys are almost there. I see you guys putting in a lot of work. I see you guys really trying, and I'm really proud of you guys. And I wish I could just individually tell each and one of, each and every one of you guys, like, you're doing a good job and pat you on the back. I wish I can give all of you guys a hug and buy a great job, but, and, and let's keep moving forward. Because that, like, someone, I feel like some of you guys just need that kick, like, we just need that little, that pump of motivation. But it's coming, it's here. Okay, it's like the strength card in reverse. It's like you feel like you're weak or you feel like you can't do it. But it's like you find that itty bitty little bit of um, inner strength. And it's like, boom, you're done. And you're moving forward. And all this success is coming in. Why is the chariot here? Wow. The star twice. And that's that kindred partnership. This is that, that wish fulfillment that you've been wanting. This is that wish coming true. That chariot, three of cups with the lovers. The, the, the chariot and the star. Wow. I'm loving this. 
and look, the Hermit to reverse at the bottom of the deck, Virgo energy, Aquarius, Gemini energy, Cancer energy. But I'm loving this at the bottom of the deck because the Hermit is someone that has went within. But in reverse, it's like you know what you want. You're ready. You're prepared. You want this new relationship. You've already done all the work. You've already been in Hermit mode. So you're ready and you know what you want. Love it. We're going to stop there, guys. All right. I'm going to pull some additional messages. All right. I am using um, the Don Miguel for the four um, agreements deck. And then I'm going to use his fifth agreement card. All right. So, Spirit, what additional message do you have for us today? What additional message do you have for us today, Spirit? All right, this one was coming out. Wow. And look what it says. Release the need to be right. And it says, when you believe something, you assume you are right. And you may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. And that's that conflict that you guys are in. You guys were, were needing to release the need um, to be right. And I feel like this person or this situation, whatever you were in, they knew that you were right. They knew um, whatever you were saying, whatever you were doing, they knew that you were doing the right thing or you were saying the right thing. But you needed to stop defending yourself and trying to prove to them that you were right. Why? Spirit has your back. And that's why Spirit has this kindred partnership coming in. All right? So let's pull one more message. Spirit, give me one more message. And this is with the fifth agreement deck. I'll show you guys what they look like. Some of you guys always ask. The truth doesn't need... Okay, it says the truth doesn't need me to believe it. Wow, that's that Queen of Swords again. Taking off the facade, taking off the mask. That's the fifth agreement. And then this is the fourth agreement. Okay? That's what they look like, guys. And it says the truth doesn't need me to believe it. The truth simply is in, it survives, believe it or not. Lies needs, lies, lies need me to believe them. If I don't believe lies, they don't survive and they simply disappear. So I'm going to read that again. The truth simply is in, it survives. Meaning that if someone's telling the truth, things are going to keep moving forward. It's going to survive. It's, it's moving forward, right? Believe it or not. Lies need me to believe them. If I don't believe lies, they don't survive. And they simply disappear. Wow. Love it, guys. All right. So um, I want to go into that Kindred Partnership card that we had. Because I feel like there's something in there that you guys just probably just need to know. Um. Okay, so it says, a couple dances on a beautiful beach, indicating that a potential union awaits you. Either now or in the not-so-distant future. So the not-so-distant meaning like this could be happening like next week. All right, this card, this card portends a new relationship of some kind or a deepening, caring connection. There's a sharing of mind and heart here. The, upcom the upcoming partnership is likely to be a romantic one, bringing tender-hearted feelings your way. It may manifest either as a deeper commitment in a present romance or as a brand new love appearing in your life. This could also manifest as a work partnership, probably in a business you feel passionate about. There could also be a legal agreement of some kind. So remember I told you I said this can be a bomb friend coming in. The, uh, kin, a kindred partnership can be a friend, whatever. Okay. It says whatever form this energy takes, the wonderful. No, sorry. Let me go back. You know, it's retro way, guys. So it says whatever form this energy takes. We're bringing the wonderful support and care and we'll be expanding in your life. 
So there's someone that's coming into your life and things are about to grow and expand and it's going to be freaking amazing. It's going to be beautiful. For others of you, you're going into a beautiful partnership um, with work. Um, it's going to be a business partnership. For some of you guys, you guys just have like a really good friend that's coming into your life. And it's like you guys are going to be like sisters or like brothers. You guys are going to like love each other unconditionally. Like it's going to be a great relationship for most of you guys. I know it's going to be romantic. But this is a beautiful, guys. I love this. Because you guys are doing the work and it's like a union awaits you. Wow. A union awaits you. A kindred partnership is coming in, guys. Like, I love this. I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are doing a lot of great work, okay? You guys are doing a lot of work. And I really do appreciate you guys. Um, so the affirmation for this is I open my heart and my life to the loving connections coming my way. I deserve to love and to be loved. I open my heart and my life to the loving connections coming my way. I deserve to love and to be loved. I freaking love it. Amazing. I even kind of sort of have a tear in my eye. I love it guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. And I will definitely see you guys on Friday for the weekend reading. All right. You guys already know if you want to book, fireintuition.com. Bye, loves.